Hi, I'm Sandra Mendez, project designer here at Aya Kitchens, and we've just recently finished a great kitchen reno for a young family here in Toronto. When I first saw the space, it was actually quite frightening. It was extremely small. There was a wall in between the original kitchen and the original dining room. So the kitchen was U-shaped. It was extremely cramped, very inefficient. Uh, there was hardly any storage space. When the client came to the showroom, we went through all of the available options here at Aya Kitchens before coming up with the perfect solution for her. Part of the original plan was to take down the dividing wall between the two spaces. It's great that they did that because it opened up the space completely. The kitchen is an L-shaped kitchen and pretty much the appliances have stayed in the same location because there weren't too many options to relocate them. So on the left side we do have a built-in refrigerator. It's quite large, tall. Adjacent to that we have an appliance lift garage so it's a perfect spot to hide small appliances and there's also a glass cabinet above to display certain items. Continuing along we have the range and we also have a hood fan centered over the range. And continuing around the corner we had space to add in a second appliance garage and a second display cabinet. And adjacent to that we have an apron style farm sink which leads well to the transitional look. When the client came here at Aya Kitchen to choose for finishes, she knew that she liked the darker finish and she really liked the Fairfax store and the anthracite finish, which is the very dark gray, which is one of the many finishes available here at Aya Kitchen. One of the interesting features of the kitchen is that there is not a lot of closed wall cabinet storage. Instead, what they've opted to do is to incorporate some open floating shelves. And we've actually cut the shelves around one of the columns in the kitchen that could not be removed, but it worked well in the space. The tiles on the countertop, uh, those followed after she selected the cabinetry. The countertop is white Caesar stone, so it's quite neutral and it goes well with many color palettes. And the backsplash tile is also very neutral in the white's off-white. And moving along towards the opposite side, which was the original dining room, we've managed to incorporate a buffet, which is a perfect spot to store dishes, glassware, tableware. It also has some decorative details on the buffet. And adjacent to that, we now have banquette seating, which worked out perfectly because they've positioned a large harvest table in the space. She can sit many people at this table. And underneath the seating, we have drawers, which is a perfect spot for storage for hiding those items that are not often used. I would describe this kitchen as being a transitional kitchen. Part of the reason is that the hardware is traditional, the crown moldings are traditional, and some of the other elements, such as the door style, are very clean lines, so it leads more towards a transitional style. One of the reasons why the homeowner decided to work with Aya is that it's a local company, all of our product is made in Canada, and it's also a green company. All of our wood is FSC certified, for example. I really enjoyed working with this client. It was a great space to work with. It was a little demanding because there was a lot to fit within the space, but in the end, I'm really happy with how the job turned out, especially since I got to see what the space looked like beforehand, so the difference is quite amazing.